But Abilene Christian, the Wildcats, get it done. They advance. And they will go on to play UCLA. So you either have a 14 or an 11 guaranteed to be in the Sweet 16. Congratulations to those folks. Abilene, they'll be partying it down tonight. Austin, what happened? All right, Matt Norlander joining me with us. Of course, Matt, with us all the time when it comes to the college basketball. Big stories, big stuff. Earlier in the day, in fact, when VCU and Oregon, and we had the whole VCU has to leave the tournament, he's literally getting sources on his phone as I'm talking to him. Breaking news. Breaking news here is Texas is done. Um, what did you make of this game? I, I, I mean, this there was a 105-point score. I, I mean, it looked like a halftime score. Yeah, uh, tell me about it. The uh, the record over my shoulder is Texas Flood, Austin Zone, Stevie Ray Vaughn. This was Texas Blood, literally uh, a bloody game, and it was a rough one for the Longhorns here. Credit to Abilene Christian. The state of Texas is 6-1 and one in this NCAA tournament. The University of Texas is 0-1. Abilene Christian, the smallest team in the field, upsets arguably one of the three or four most talented groups in college basketball this is a sizable upset. We got a 15 moving on on Friday. We get a 14 in the final game of the first round. Love when we can get some real chaos deep into the night here. Credit to Joe Golding, doing a wonderful job, had a tremendous game plan. I was a little surprised. Greg Brown, a future first round NBA pick for Texas, who you know, isn't their first or second best player. He was on the bench a lot in this game. Uh, Andrew Jones almost was the hero again. And then Joe Pleasant, 58% from the foul line, steps up in a huge football stadium, massive moment. He, he insisted on standing at that foul line when they had the stoppage of play. Coolly, calmly. I mean, my nerves were going, because you just get nervous for the college player in that moment. Massive. Yeah, I mean, you know, that's a good point. Program. You know, you make a good point there. I never like when they show the kids crying or that kind of, look, you're professional. It's another thing that these are kids and they're there and they're students and that is a lot of pressure. So in those circumstances, I'm always kind of rooting for the kid. And as you talked about it, he was that that didn't look like 58 percent for him. That looked like high 70s for him as he, you know, stroked both of those. I was like Matt Norlander in the driveway, knocking it down in a big spot. All right. So what was the single biggest surprise or upset of the entire first round. Forget what the seeds say. What do you say? Is it Abilene Christian? Is it Oral Roberts? Is it one of the other ones? I mean, we had some double digit seeds step up today. The biggest upset in round one is what? Abilene Christian over Texas. Uh, now, Oral Roberts 15 over two is bigger seed wise and Ohio, but Ohio State had had been inconsistent to a degree down the regular season stretch there where that wasn't an outright stunner. Uh, I'm influenced by the fact that uh, I had Texas. I had Texas in my final four. Uh, OK, bracket ruins. Love it, though. No complaints here. Abilene Christian winning the way it did and just grinding. I didn't think that Abilene Christian was going to be able to alter Texas's game plan the way that it did, but it did. Congratulations. This has only been a program that's been Division One since 2013. It's just, it, just, it just arrived to the party here. It's been eligible to make the field for like three years, and it goes ahead and it wins it. This is uh, huge for the Wildcats there. Good on them. We've got a couple of wonderful stories. Uh, and by the way, you mentioned UCLA versus Abilene Christian. Uh, you know, got to learn your lesson at some point making picks here. Almost every year except two over the past 30 years, there have been a, there's been at least one double-digit seed to make the second weekend. And we're going to be guaranteed it again because we've got 11 UCLA versus 14 Abilene Christian. Madness. It's here. I love and, it. And for the first time ever, four seeds, 13 or higher, are advancing. Has never happened before. We got four of them. This time, the little guy, you know, I was my, my set, and I didn't make it up, but I've always repeated it. And if I knew who said it first, I'd give them credit. The first weekend is about the little guy. The second weekend of this tournament is about the big guy. And the little guy showed up in a big way uh, this time around. Um, when you look at, at this one, look, one of my things is, I knew Texas, uh, we talked about it before the game, Abilene Christian was going to be very motivated. These kids know they didn't get recruited. Texas didn't want them. It's personal. Your home state said, you're not good enough, they are. 
This is Loyola in Illinois tomorrow. I and, mean, you know, this is the kind of, I don't want, if I'm Illinois, Bruce, I don't want Loyola anywhere near me. There's nothing I can do. If I was Shaka Smart, I didn't want a Texas school because all those kids are angry with me. It's personal. So what did you see? What do you think tomorrow when you get Loyola in Illinois, which kicks us off on the day, which is going to be a terrific Sunday? Yeah, that's the best uh, game possible in the second round, by the way, statistically. Loyola uh, and Illinois are both top 10 Ken Palm teams. <laughs> like that's that's an elite level, elite eight level game there. Um, it, if it weirdly, like, you know, listen, it, you know, because Abilene Christian beat Texas, it's not going to give Brad Underwood any more motivation to say, we can't let Loyola do to us what Abilene Christian did to Texas. But you know that conversation is being, has being had probably uh, tonight, right now, uh, by Illinois there. But Loyola Chicago is good enough. Let's be clear. It's good enough to do to Illinois. What uh, That would not be nearly as shocking as yeah, Abilene right, Christian. Not, but I'm just saying, if I were the Illinois would, coach, I'd be looking at my kids and I'm saying, you know what they're saying right now? They should have had your scholarship. I picked the wrong kids because I could have had them. None of you kids at Illinois, you know, oh, I, well, you weren't like, oh, I, if only Loyola offered me a scholarship. No. You could have gone there. You chose to be here. None of those kids could have gone there. I chose you. Tell, prove me right. Because they're going to they're going to come out like gangbusters tomorrow, saying they should have had your scholarship, and I was wrong about them, and that's going to be a fun, fun, fun game. Uh, I can't wait to keep breaking this down with you, Matt and Orlando. You go to CBSSports.com, read everything he writes. Uh, you catch him on Twitter as well in the podcast. Uh, college, I and college basketball. We will do the highlight, but it is over. Abilene Christian, the Wildcats. The 14 seed has taken down mighty Texas. The eyes of Texas, not upon you if you're the Longhorns. Abilene Christian, and you know this was sweet for those kids, beating the big bad university in their home state. Highlight coming. Want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis. No yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.